to New Look Style of the Nation. We are live for the next five weeks, continuing our search for fashionable members of the public whose dream it is to work as a top stylist. Each week, we visit a different city and pick the two most fashion-savvy residents who will then be set the challenge of creating four outfits to display on this very catwalk. However, it's you at home who decides who goes through to our grand final. All the voting is done online, so grab those laptops now. You can also tweet about the program and the outfits throughout the show. No raspberry this week, because I feel like raspberry is so last week. Uh, the overall winner of the series will be given a year's contract at New Look, working as a stylist for photo shoots and fashion shows, so it's a big job. That is not all the show has to offer. You at home can appear on this show. Not only can you get your collections onto this catwalk today, but you can also enter to be the sixth finalist competing for that amazing prize. All the details at channel4.com slash style. Now, on with the action, it was my job, me, to start the search for today's two budding stylists. I held an open interview in Cardiff. People flocked from all over the country, and there was the return of a familiar face. Hi guys. Hello, I'm Nick, by the way. Is there a look that people um, have in Cardiff? I think Cardiff is quite smart. Something more important about personality than what they've got on. That's what's going to push it for me. You look sick today. I love this you outfit. Say yeah, in a good way, of course. Why should we put you through over anyone because else? Because I'm great. Today? I'm stylish and I'm Muslim. I'm not yeah. like all these other news. Yeah? <laughs> this is pretty manly, isn't it? <laughs> Which men do you look uh, up to? Love Johnny Depp. Oh, of course. Love his, uh, yeah. you know, his creativity, all his rock and roll. Okay, we have our first contender. I would like to put you on my short list and send you for your photo. Dina, everybody. Yay! How are you doing, babe? <laughs> really good. I want to liberate Muslim women, show them that you can still be fashionable and still be modest at the same time. Junior, I really liked. I liked his vibe. It was kind of effortless. Junior, you're on the shortlist. Oh, wow. Well done. Getting a job as a stylist is going to lie to me because I could be able to express my creativity. We're both visual merchandisers. Right. We've been sharing tips. They're already doing like visual merchandising, which I've never heard of. Dressing shop windows, oh, okay. knitting store mannequins. Okay. They're desperate to get their hands on some real models, not plastic models. Although sometimes the personality can be at a par. <laughs> Do you have any like style rules? Is there anything like a, that everybody should abide by? If you show the top, don't show the bottom. If you show the bottom, don't show the top. Right. Sometimes I've done both, Christy. It's been it's been a real nightmare. <laughs> I think I really like Christy. I think she looks like no one else here. Christy, boom. Fashion to me is about personality and individualism and just expressing who you are. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at this. The shy and retiring Veronica is back. Veronica, Hi. the love of my life. <laughs> I love your outfit today, by the way. Oh, it's a million miles away from what we saw you in London. I just love fashion. Yeah. I always have. The shoes, perfect match of the hair. I know. <laughs> Spot on. I love your outfit today. Do you really? I'm not going to lie to you. With fashion, I think it encompasses the arts, like such an eclectic <laughs> mix of things. I really liked, you know, I thought she was just cool. She just had her own little look going on and held herself well. That's it. I would love to have a career in something that I genuinely am excited about. It's definitely fashion. My dad doesn't know I'm here. Like, I'm doing fashion design in college next year. He does not know that. He doesn't know? Nah, he won't, he won't ever know. Okay. How is fashion in Cornwall? What's that saying? No one wears heels like during the day. Oh, <laughs> awful. Oh, a tragedy. <laughs> the person we have chosen to put through is Alex, everybody. <laughs> Sure. Being a stylist is my dream job. It's a way of being who you want to be, but for other people to get this job would be absolutely amazing. My final stylist is Veronica. Yeah! The first time I came to audition, I didn't show my personality very well. I just came back with a fresh mind. Fashion to me is loving everything that you wear and everything about how you look. Come here. Oh, well done, babe. That 
is the Cardiff Six. They sound like bank robbers. Uh, but they were selected by me, but remember, only two have made it through to compete in today's show. Find out who our mentors, Cat Byrne and Alexis Knox, picks later in the show. Now, I want to ask you a question. Are you never quite sure how to describe your look? Do you feel a need to put a stamp on your style? Well, relax. You can simply take our style test at channel4.com slash style. Plus, you can get all creative and put your own outfits together online. Your styling may even be picked to appear on this very catwalk today. Okay, before that, though, it's time to meet our regular fashion panel. Between them, they've got the brains, the beauty, and the business know-how to tell our budding stylists what is what. First up, we have multi-award-winning fashion designer Giles Deacon. He has a strong following, counting the likes of Kate Moss, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Nick Grimshaw as his fans. Joining Giles is New Look's creative director, Barbara Horsepool. Our budding stylist need to impress her today, as in five weeks' time, this woman will end up being the winner's boss. Please welcome Barbara Horsepool and Giles Deacon, everybody. Hi, guys. Good morning, Nick. Good morning. Very well. Very well, indeed, you. Good luck. Let's go, Barbara. Oh, Massive look. I know Massive she's looking look. great today, she's isn't looking she? Awesome. Yeah. Um, but as you know, they are not alone. Each week we have a special guest. Today, we are pleased to welcome, hallelujah, it's the one and only <laughs> Alexandra Burke is here. <laughs> I have missed you, babes. And <laughs> uh, Giles, now, um, that's about. Um, as you know, you're the guy who puts on fashion shows. You, more than anyone here, know what it's like, the stress that we're feeling backstage now. What are you looking for from our budding stylists? Well, I'm really going to be looking for some work that's got really strong references to popular culture today. Oh! Um, you know, kind of tales of the unexpected. Ah. Some good references to music, art, you know, fashion, the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Barbara, um, as we are asking viewers at home to create their own looks online, what should they be doing to get our attention? Well, they've just got to remember this isn't about just dressing yourself. It's not just a frock, a, a necklace, a hat. This is about looking at the fashion world, music, street. I mean, fashion is everywhere you go. Uh -huh. And taking whatever's the current vibe now, are thinking about things differently. We're looking for people who are just uh, maybe a little bit more experimental, which doesn't mean daft. It doesn't yeah. mean like wacky or, or for the sake of it. Just people who are thinking about dressing okay, differently. Okay, awesome. Alexandra, have you taken our style test? I have, actually. And were you an it girl? Um, I, I'm not sure what I was. I think it was, uh, am I the boho chick Oh, you're something? boho. You're I think boho I'm a babe. Boho, 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 boho babe, yeah. And thank you, guys. Um, <laughs> Alexandra's not our only special guest today. We've also got performances from Tinchy Strider and Dappy later in the show. There they are. Yeah. My best friends, my crew, my man, Dem. Uh, now, this summer, wedding bells are in the air. In fact, Lily Allen is getting married this very afternoon. So in honour of Miss Allen later in the show, we will be giving you tips on what to wear to a wedding, but with a little bit of a rock and roll twist. We'll also discover which two budding stylists are Style the Nation mentors picked out of my Cardiff Six. We will see you after the break. Hey, welcome back to New Look Style the Nation. As you can see, our experts are already casting their beady eyes or just having a gossip over their outfits to make sure they get a good close-up look. But remember, it's you at home who decides who goes through to the next stage. So get ready to go online and get ready to vote. Now, this week I hit the mean streets of Cardiff and earlier you saw me choose my top six. However, only two could make it through to today's live show. This is where our professional stylists and mentors, Kat Byrne and Alexis Knox, step in. Be a stylist, I think you've got yeah. to be quite organised, yeah. not scatty at all, because it will just all go mm -hmm. to pieces. I think you have to really sell yeah. yourself in this business. So I think if you want to be a stylist, you would have that intrinsic yeah. knowledge of what looks good yeah. and how to make something look good. How's Cardiff? Looking hard. You want to know about Junior? Did he talk about style at all? He really loves that Johnny Depp rock and roll vibe. So that key could be quite limiting, I think. Christy. Quite Smoking. different. Very different. I really like that. She's got a real natural flair for it, yeah. hasn't she? I actually want to raid her wardrobe. Tina's sister has a fashion website and Tina does all the styling for that. Okay. She's like, done a lot of like weird jobs. She's yeah. very focused then. I don't know if she was that focused. Alex, he works in a shop where he acts as a personal assistant, right. so he has to style customers. He's working with customers, real people every day, then that's yeah. perfect. That's true. Veronica. 
Wowzer! I thought she would be like loud, brassy, yeah. pick me. She was like, yeah, I think. Yeah. But you know, some people overcompensate their shyness with their image. Yeah. It's time for Dina. She really sold herself to me. She was just like, you need me because I'm amazing, I'm together, I'm confident. Wow, that makes her quite exciting. Okay, it's time to make a decision. Alexis, you go first. <gasps> I decided to give this person. Oh, interesting. Good, good choices, definitely. Let's go tell them. Yay.